Welcome to day one of King's Court, baby. Let's do this. Smash the and crap out of the subscribe button. Happy Friday, baby. All right, King's Court, day one. What's going on here? So, Rhoda looking like a little bit of a snack here. $185, not bad. Collector's Rare Lightning Storms, 158. Those actually kind of down a little bit. Utopic Draco Futures down to 145 lowest, but uh, verified like 150, which isn't also bad. Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Actually, 150 is actually not bad. Obelisk at 185, yikes. Raw at 145. Jack's Knight at a whole $60. Also, side note here. Uh, Rescue Rabbit's a whole 120. For older formats, this is gonna look really nice. Like it's one of the best things we got. Um Rivalry's a whole $67. I guess. Makes sense. King's Court box is 74 lowest right now. Jack's Knight. Oh, Joker's Knight. 60. Okay. Ah, Lightning Storms. 40 bucks. Ah, uh, this is actually really good. It's 120 for a playset. Hmm. Well, actually, with tax, depending on your location, eh, that's not bad. Regular Topic Future, $32, $33. Joker's Knights at $9. Imperial Bower, 8 bucks. Gear Free to hold $6. Joker's Straight at 6 Arcana Triumphant here at 5 6 bucks as well. The value in this set on the lower end looks like it's blown out. Dolka is a whole dollar for Ultra. Wow. Thunder Speed Summon, nothing. And then, yeah, you literally dip down. So the high end in this set obviously looks like it's going to be the Egyptian God cards. Uh, Utopic Draco Future holding at that $30 plus dollar price tag as well, which is understandable. Uh, but as I said here, um, oh, we do have the Secret Rare listings for the gods. Oh, well, what we got back here? Okay. Wing Dragon or Raw? Secret Rare here. Secret Pharaoh's Rare. $600. Okay. Yikes. Uh, guilty at 50 bucks. Queen's Knight at 70. Uh, Imperial Bower, Bower here at 75. That's Slifer Secret at 545. Okay, so correction. We do have them listed. That is actually good to see. Joker's Knight. King of Triumph back here. Um, yeah, 545 and, um, so many weird, how many listings did they make for these things? All right, well, it doesn't look like these have sold yet, but that is interesting. Those are very high-ended for this. I am going to be curious, though, for the long run, though, how these are going to hold. It's so weird that we, we did them in secret and we did them in ultra for what they actually are for rarities. So, okay. Well, good news. Um, if you pull the secret rare, it's evidently worth a lot, but with no market price data yet, um, I really don't know what to say about that. That's kind of disappointing. All right, Hobby League Rota. Uh, I watched these get bought out yesterday. These were leveled off the market here um, at, pfft, yeah, at gone. Uh, but they actually started relisting yesterday. I think we saw them at 300. The 300 listing disappeared. I hope nobody actually, I think anybody bought it. Uh, weird part is, though, these Rotas, these actually sold at 120 yesterday. Somebody paid $120 on Hobby League Rotas. Um, let's go buy the collector's rare if, you, if you're going to do this. Like, that's. Uh, with the release of what was it, the Zingjungshi archetype, I, I, I know my pronunciation is probably not on par with that. Um, there's been movements in Boxia, of course, right? Like, level 8? Hello? One tuner plus one non tuner worms uh, monster? Yeah, who would have guessed? By the way, but yeah, these these have hit the fifty plus dollar mark now. Hey man, I mean you literally can make this card for free, all right? Whatever requirements that you have to put onto the field for the level four, you can get. Uh, been a little bit of movement in Yazi as well. This shouldn't be any real shocker to anybody here as well, considering the fact that unfortunately, yeah, up, up we go. 
Uh, 28 bucks lowest. Understandable. But yeah, of course, the big synchro boys would be pushing up. Only makes sense, right? Next up here, if you want to play the Penny Stonkers, um, Draco Berserker of the 10 Ye might be something you want to keep an eye on as well. It is also another generic synchro monster. It's basically got the negate status that you're really going to be looking for for this style of monster. So, yeah, keep an eye on Drago Berserker. It's just kind of something, like I said, Penny Stonk. Uh, Mare Mare is also going to be another Penny Stonk you want to keep an eye on for the Super Rare from the Egyptian God Structure Deck, uh, depending on how the rest of the archetype actually, you know, builds up here. Remember, you can go Yazi into Mare Mare do the Mare Mare shenanigans where you make all the tokens. You, you know what kind of shenanigans we're doing with that. It was one of the deadliest combo packages that we've had in the game for going second, just to be able to pop, go into Mare Mare, start doing synchro combo and building that board, so. Ah, hey, Dragoon, this man is still cruising, all right? I I can't tell here if, if this car will ever go down. Uh, maybe after a ban list, but this guy's been cruising about $80 for, like, the last month or so. He's just, like, just vibing at the $80 mark, man. <laughs> There's no stopping this card, all right? It's literally the, the solidest $80 card I've seen in a very long time. Ah, so Usartic Polari. Uh, you guys know all about that uh, very interesting card that we have coming out that takes Drytron and Usartic and literally goes pineapple apple pen and pff, sticks them together uh, and in terms of prices going up for these i haven't seen anything crazy like polaris still cheap for the crs subtrions 26 bucks still green chariots 20 bucks regular polaris are eight bucks like honestly big dippers even like went down so like if for everybody it's like oh my god like i need to pick this stuff up it's gonna go up it, it didn't budge like in in fact i think it went down so if you're somebody it's like yeah i want to pick up the stuff it's fine at the moment you can wait a little bit like i don't foresee this going anywhere uh 10 e cards just a quick little peep in here i don't know is at uh like four bucks the vishuda's like three bucks we talked about the penny stonk already uh shinthana's dollars shaman's still kind of cruising here but yeah, this stuff is still pretty much vibing for 10 ye. Not bad. Uh, ooh, still 250 here. Nice. Uh, Frock Dolls still kind of doing their thing. Uh, Airborne Assault's still pushing down. Nerval's at 6 is for Jits. Actually, under the $5 mark now. Interesting. Eh, kids at dollars. Alright, I see you. Tyrant's Temper. Lol. This card is still $9 for light play. I hate this so much. Such a meme, but it's me. I'll accept this. Look, it's me, guys. But yeah, it's me. It'd be like that sometimes. Pascal is here. Ooh. I don't think anything's really changed on her. Uh, looks like we're still cruising about the $4 mark. Yep, still cruising about $4 for Pascal. So no real change there. Magician's Valkyria from the Structure Deck. Structure Deck Spellcaster's Command. Are you kidding me? These are worth something? $18 for light play from Spellcaster's Command. 20, 30, what? From an old structure deck. That's bonkers. Shonen Jump Magazine, wow. Well, hey, Magician's Valkyria. I'm not gonna go too much further in with that, but wow, from that old structure deck, that's a lot of money. Should all construct. I haven't peeped in on this in a little while. What's going on here? 130 for first ed still. That makes sense, honestly. Um, yeah, looks like these are still vibing. I said 115 back there. Okay. Wind up priestess of the gust. You guys know this is like a nine? Oh, just kidding. We're 15 bucks after this one is sold. Yikes. That's a lot of value. High priest of prophecy. We've peeped in on this a little bit um, over time. Just. Uh, first edition sold for one forty nine. It's one for one hundred. It amazes me, like one twenty five. How much this older stuff goes for now? Deep Sea Diva from Turbo Pack Four. Ooh, odd well, play sold at forties. Ah, light play here for or near mint for sixty nine. That's fine. Marksman. 
Oh, we had one sell for 59. Yeah, it looks like we're at 59 pretty much across the board here. All right. Uh, virtual world stuff's gone up. I'm not going to give this too much of a nod here. Um, we did talk about like a week ago, you should have bought this when it was 10 bucks a piece. Uh, if you got in at that point, good job. But this sweet little note here, Lulu's 15 bucks, Quang Long's eight, Senshin's six bucks at this point in time. So yeah, value's been raised on that. A dark arm dragon. Ooh. Oh my gosh. The power of the... Plus, man, a near mint's 500. Ugh. Yikes. Oh, and same thing here. Drytron stuff's definitely floating where it's been. Novas are still. That was a cheap one there for 25. Basically 30s. Mubeta down. Dinos Drytron still floating where it's been, but yeah, still pretty cruise control here. All things considered. So guys, what do you think about today's market? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smash that other crap out. Subscribe in so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here in a little bit for news from Japan. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cart Fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.